Hey everyone, great to see you all back here. Hope you're all enjoying the recipes. And I've got another fabulous recipe for you today for St. Patrick's Day. I'm making chocolate Guinness cupcakes. This recipe is based on a recipe for a chocolate Guinness cake I made last year, and I covered it in a lovely cream cheese frosting. It was really good. It went down really well in my house. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix in some melted butter with some Guinness. And now I'm gonna add in brown sugar and white sugar. I'm also gonna add in the cocoa powder to this. This recipe is really simple because it's all in one bowl and you don't even need an electric mixer for it, just a hand whisk. So we're gonna give this a good mix until everything is fully combined. That's perfect. So now into this mixture, I'm just gonna add some eggs, three eggs, some sour cream and vanilla extract. The vanilla extract actually brings the flavour out more of the chocolate. That's why I'm adding it. So mix this again. That's fully combined now. And now I'm going to add in flour, a little bit of salt and some bicarbonate soda, baking soda. And let's get this all mixed in. If you'd like to try out my chocolate Guinness cake, I'll post a link to it in the comments down below when I post the recipe. Please let me know in the comments what you're planning on making for St. Patrick's Day. I'd love to know. And even better if it's one of my recipes. I think I'm happy with that. It looks like all the flour is mixed in. So all that we have left to do now is to get this into the cupcake cases. So let's do that now. All right, so I picked some nice green cupcake cases because of St. Patrick's Day. The easiest thing I find is to pour the mixture into a jug and pour it into your cupcake cases or to use one of these. And we're gonna fill the cupcake cases up about three quarters of the way. That's perfect. This amount of cupcake mixture will make about 18 cupcakes. So we're gonna get these into the oven. We need to bake these for 15 to 20 minutes and I'll include all the temperatures in the recipe. And there we have them all done. We're gonna let these cool completely. While they're cooling, we're gonna make the cream cheese frosting. All right, so in here I've got cream cheese and it's full fat cream cheese. It's important to use full fat. This is just a shop branded one. It's not an expensive brand and it works perfect. So into here, I'm going to add in some icing sugar. Now we need to whisk this together and we need to use an electric hand mixer for this. That's fully mixed in now, and I'm gonna add in vanilla extract and some double cream. And we're gonna mix this one more time until it thickens up. That's nice and thick now, but I like to pop it into the fridge for about 10 minutes before I put it on the cupcakes. Now for the fun part, it's time to get this cream cheese frosting onto our cupcakes. And I've already done some here. Don't they look amazing? Now you don't have to use a piping bag if you don't want to. You can just spoon the cream cheese frosting on the cupcakes. I will include the number of the piping tip that I'm using on these cupcakes. Just look at those. They are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? They taste really good too. And I'm not just saying that, they really are good. Guinness and chocolate together is just out of this world. I really hope you try out the recipe for St. Patrick's Day and I hope you all have a great St. Patrick's Day celebration. Thanks again and thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel or follow my page. Happy baking everyone and see you all soon. Enjoy!